everybody, what's going on? It's Strawberry Shortcake with a little something different for you. So usually I post a lot of gaming videos on my YouTube, um, but if you follow my Instagram or Twitter, you'll see that I often post pictures of different foods that I've made, desserts that I've baked, uh, and sometimes different drinks. Well, I've been getting a lot of requests from people to make some videos showing how I make these foods or how to make foods quickly or just you know, some cheap and expensive meals because, hey, we're all on a budget because I'm in college, we're gamers, we need something quick and easy. Um, so what I thought I would start out with is I just went grocery shopping and I thought I would show you kind of some of the staples that I keep in my house. Now, not all of these I use in baking or cooking or anything like that, but these are just good staples that I have that I pretty much eat almost every day. So I've got my unsweetened almond milk. I just, I don't like milk at all. Um, you know, I grew up drinking it and I just was never much of a fan. Ever since I tried almond milk, it's been my favorite. It's what I've always gone to now, so I always keep some almond milk around. And in the morning, sometimes I'll mix in some protein powder with it just to get more calories into my diet. Bagels. And I've got two different types of cream cheeses. The one I have here is the garden vegetable. Um, I also have a strawberry cream cheese. I like the garden vegetable because I actually use this as chip dip as well. Um, <laughs> I am a big fan of tortilla chips and dip. Like, huge fan. Cheese, you can't go wrong with cheese. I eat an ungodly amount of cheese, but I'm okay with it because I've accepted this in my life. <laughs> I've got my vanilla Greek yogurt. I buy the ones in the cups. It's a little more expensive than if you were to buy the actual big tub of it. But I buy these ones because it does have a little bit of room on the top if you want to put in like some cereal, which I usually do. So I'll store, stir in some cereal or maybe sometimes protein powder as well. Bananas, because bananas are great. <laughs> these are a good source of potassium and they also have a lot of natural carbohydrates, so this is a really good way to start your morning. Lots of other fruits. These are more for snacking, sometimes packing in lunches. I've got raspberries and strawberries. Um, I also like to snack on bell peppers. If I don't buy the big bell pepper to cut up, I'll buy these little ones. Also these grape tomatoes. Sometimes the cherry tomatoes, they're basically the same thing, like slightly different in size. But I love to dip them in ranch or Caesar dressing. My favorite is this Marzetti dressing. It has no preservatives. Um, it's actually, it comes refrigerated, so you have to keep it refrigerated. It's not one of the ones that you can find in the salad, salad dressing aisle. You can find it in the refrigerated section next to some of the vegetables. I just think it has way more flavor than a lot of the other dressings, so I really prefer this. Like I said, I'll dip my peppers or my tomatoes in it. Bread, because carbs, yes. I always splurge and I go a little extra for the whole wheat, whole grain, a little healthier, more fiber. Um, I can't even begin to explain how bad plain white bread is for you. So we try to be a little healthier with this. And on the occasions which I'm busy, I have no time, or I just don't feel like cooking, I've got these frozen meals. This one is from Amy's. Uh, they have no preservatives in it. They're organic. They use rice noodles. This is my food. This isn't your food. She can't stand not being the center of attention, but I buy <laughs> these for the occasions in which I do not feel like cooking. You're such a baby. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> This is just what I start out my grocery list with. They're the classics, you know, the staples that I get. And like I said, I don't use all of these in my cooking. These are just my day-to-day -day items that I'll use for lunch, for breakfast, and whatnot. 
So don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button because we do have some cooking videos coming soon. And if you have any requests of any foods or desserts that you've seen on my Instagram or on my Twitter that you'd like to see me make or just some random food that you want to see somebody cook, then send me a message on Twitter, on YouTube, and I'll do my best to incorporate it. Thanks guys!